Hi there! We will take a look of our add-on for Autodesk AutoCAD Plan 3D. This program will give the user the opportunity to create a pipe spec, which will behave and look like as a cable tray system. Here you can see an existing layout with a cable tray band already placed as a terminal point. But first, let's start with a thing that is very important. There is a limitation in Plan 3D. You have to have a pipe in every single spec you are making. Otherwise, it will just not work. And the geometry of a pipe is always circular. And of course, if you are watching this video, you know that cable trays are rectangular elements. So the pipe is just there because of Plan 3D limitations. But we will not use it. We will use sleeves as only sleeves can simulate the straight parts of the cable trays. They can be rectangular. You cannot draw the trays as you do with pipes as you have to add sleeves, but with a little bit of trick they can behave like custom length straight sections. I will show this trick in this movie. Ok, let's start with a straight section first. We are putting it as a sleeve and now I am putting a reducing T. And of course, this T is not in a good position now. I check the distance from this railing. I would like to go below it. So I need at least 1400 millimeters. So this is the trick. The sleeve is editable. So if I extend the length, it is working as a pi. We just have to edit the properties tab of this sleeve. So 2500 millimeter is not perfect. I shorten it a little bit more. 2400 will do just fine. Okay, I add again a straight section to this reducing part of the T. This is automatically 150 mm wide now, as we have a reducing T. Now I put a upward going element. Uh, let's turn off the steel structure layer now. So again, I am editing the sleeve in the property tab. Adding 2000 millimeters is not enough. 3000 millimeters is, let's say, okay. I'm adding this one meter long straight up going part. So this is okay. Let's say these pneumatic operated valves can be connected to those cables going up in the cable trays. So, OK, turn off the structure again and continue the other end of the T straight section again. Now I will collide with this valve, so I will turn a little bit with a 45 degree bend and I will put another one to make it straight again. If I can snap to this 45 degree band yes a little bit tricky but now it's okay so now i'm actually shortening a straight section this is by default one meter let's make it half and let's reduce it a little bit more 450 yeah it's okay 
Okay, let's add a reducer to this band. Yep, it's actually not reducing, but now it is. Now we're gonna straight section and now a horizontal band, 90 degree band. Yes, and now I have to extend the straight sleeve to have the band in the proper position. Let's make it 2500. Yeah, it's exactly right. I got lucky now. Okay. Then again, a straight part. And again, a cable tray, which is turning up. Oh, here we have. Okay, and now again a one meter long sleeve going up. Ah, everything is in the way. It's hard to find the correct snap point. Okay, this one. And now I just have to extend the second straight part. Let's make it. 2500, not enough. 300. 5500. It's okay. It's kind of symmetrical arrangement. And now with the structure on, we are finished. Let's see how to add custom elements to a catalog and a spec. So if you install our program, you will see that some new elements are added to the create new component section of the spec editor. You will have this blue type of new T's, reducers, or sleeves. Here you have it. So let's make an elbow. Okay, a new elbow. PL for primary and metric 150. Okay, port size. First facing C, pressure cast stand for both sides. Long description, let's say cable tray. Uh, band 30 degree. Short description, same. Okay, one size. Long description, matching pipe body, matching pipe body again. Okay, let's put the usual dimensions there. And of course, alpha must be 30 degrees, as we are doing, making a 30 degree bend now. Save to catalog. Now, the catalog is okay. The catalog contains the 30 degree bend. It's here. So, if I add to the spec, in the spec editor tab of the spec editor, you can see now we have the 30 degree bend. And now, this is a very important point. The component designation of the sleeve for every nominal diameter have to be custom. It can be only added in the spec editor tab of the spec editor. If you 
do not enter custom here you cannot edit the length of the sleeves so the first half of the trick was using the properties tab to change the length of the sleeves but you can only do this in the properties tab if you add this custom value to every nominal diameter of the sleeves so this is important just go with it enter the custom value there and you will be able to edit the sleeves in plan 3d okay save the edits so now we added this 30 degree band to the catalog to the spec now we will update the spec here in the plan 3d and try to add this 30 degree band we have it here in the palette let's add it here ah great we don't have it in 150 size so i add the reducer now again 30 degree ah and this is working straight part it's there and let's put again one more 30 degree band here you go we have created a new element and we are using it already that's all okay and now some final touches if you install our add-on you will see that we have created some special equipment in the create equipment menu of plan 3d you will have every kind of element what you have in the spec editor and you can modify it on the fly so if you add an cable tray equipment you can test the dimensions on the go just edit the dimensions and the cable tray as you can see is changing immediately so if you want to create a spec with some special dimension cable tray band or cable tray T you can test it all in plan 3d very rapidly obviously you can enter if you really want dimensions which are impossible to be generated so instead of having an error when you are adding something from the spec editor you can test it out immediately with this new equipment okay that's all thank you for watching bye